This is Pastor Phil, and I want to thank you for coming out to volunteer to serve at Evergreen Lights. Tonight, you're like this light bulb, just one little light bulb of many, many light bulbs. Did you know there's a half million light bulbs all around our property, but you're going to be one of the brightest lights. I want to show you exactly what's happening because each one of you has an important part to play. What we're doing is a pre evangelistic event. There's an evangelistic event where we bring people to Jesus. That's the Christmas concerts. But tonight with the lights, you're part of a pre evangelistic event. What is that? Well, it's doing good works that prepare the way for the good news. Our goal tonight is to give people who come onto this property a positive experience of a church, of Christians, of the gospel and of Jesus. You know that scripture that says, taste and see the Lord is good. They're gonna eat those cookies and drink that cocoa and they're gonna see the lights and know that God is good. And then of course, on the concert nights, we're gonna invite them to come on inside. Our vision, we wanna see 10,000 people over 17 events come inside the building. Each one of us, like one of those little lights, is gonna be a part of the big picture of what God has to do. So I want to show you all the important roles. Here's the first one. Right here, one of you on this team tonight is going to be standing at the entryway to the parking lot. Now there are lots of instructions that Brock is going to give you, or maybe it's Elia tonight. They're going to show you how that works, but you are the first person that anybody's going to meet. So smile. As you see every car come by, say, it's great to see you at the lights. Brock will give you more details of what to do. Look, come this way. Out here in the parking lot, Brock's gonna show you two locations where other parking attendants are guarding, guiding cars in the parking lot. The reason we do this is because there's so many people coming in and out and we have pedestrians, we want everybody to be safe. But again, most important thing is you say, thank you for coming to the lights. And then as they're going back to the cars, you're saying, how was your experience of the lights? And of course, the most powerful thing of all say, Merry Christmas. There's another role I wanna show you, come with me. We're at the entry to the light tunnel. And behind me is the welcome sign. And a couple of things are gonna be happening here. People are gonna be coming into the entry and again, Brock's going to show you how people line up in these, uh, between these chains here to you know, absorb more people. We want to do this so we don't have long lines into the parking lot. As people come into the entry, one of you is going to be standing here with a counter. You're going to be counting the number of people coming in. We do that so we know how to manage crowds in the future. But when you count people, what you're saying over and over again is, hey, welcome to the lights. Glad to have you here. It's all free. Say there's in the building, there are, there are hot cookies baked today. You can stand over here on the, uh, in front of the pavilion and watch the show. And you say it's a 20 minute show or however long it is gonna be. And say it's all put together by volunteers. It's all done by the good people of the church. You can say there are trains in the building for kids and it's gonna snow every 20 minutes. Uh, the cookies inside, they can get drinks on the inside as well. Now you don't have to say all that, but say a little bit here and a little bit there. You become the host of the whole event. And then there's another person, come with me, who's gonna be standing somewhere around here and people are gonna hand you their phones and you're gonna take their picture in the light tunnel. Maybe they wanna have the whole word up here, evergreen lights, or maybe they wanna step inside the tunnel right here and take the picture. But make sure you follow Brock's instructions so we keep the line moving. Now this year we have not one, but two tunnels. So on the other end, way down there, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, Brock's gonna tell you exactly what you need to know. Come with me, I wanna show you another spot. This spot right here, is like the main intersection of Evergreen Church because people have now come through the tunnel and they have to make a decision. Will they go through the doors here and get hot cookies, cocoa, or will they go this way and stand on the pavement and watch the light show? And of course, there's a snow zone over here to choose from. 
Maybe they need to go to the restroom. They can either go inside here or through that tunnel. That way you standing right here, are kind of like the traffic cop at the intersection, showing them the options that they have. Again, you're just talking to people, helping them. Because remember, a lot of people have never been on a church property before. We did a survey a number of years ago. We found 60% of our neighbors had never even walked inside of a church building. That's why we opened the doors. Come with me. Now, keep these doors open, unless it's really nasty weather. Because we're dealing with crowds. If people come in, left or right, they're going to be able to get cookies. Now, notice something right here. There's a donation box. We're not asking anybody for money. This is all for free. But people do like to contribute. So when they ask, you know, how do I give? Say this. There's a Venmo sticker. Look at this right here. Where people can do the QR code and give by Venmo. And of course, people can put gifts here. These Venmo stickers are everywhere all over the property. Look around your area so you're able to point out where the Venmo sticker is so that people know how to give. Come with me. So here on the pavement is where people are gonna stand and look at the light show on the building. And while they're looking at the light show, there are gonna be a few of you again, Brock will tell you how many. You're gonna be responsible for this area in front of the pavilion. And what you're doing is, as it works out naturally, talk to people. Just make conversation and see where the Holy Spirit guides that. You can simply pray, Lord, open up doors of opportunity, create divine appointments. It's amazing what he'll do. There's another key role right here, come with me. One of you is gonna be blessed enough to stand next to the snow zone. And when you're here and the countdown begins to happen for snow, you can go do the 10, 9, 8, 7, before the snow goes, and of course all the kids will be really excited. Meanwhile, there'll be more of you inside, come inside. Now, if you're blessed enough to be inside, you're gonna be warm, which is pretty good. A couple of things that are important. Make sure the fireplace is on. Sometimes it turns off, make sure it's on, and make sure you leave it on at night afterwards. The trains are here, kids are gonna line up here, look at the trains. People are going to want to have their picture taken in front of the fireplace because it says, Evergreen lights, encourage people to use that hashtag, hashtag evergreen lights. And then of course, people are gonna be milling around here. As you're hosting people in here, again, just start conversations. Ask simple questions like, have you been to the lights before? Uh, where do you come from? How did you hear about it? And then ask the Holy Spirit to take those conversations on a little farther. There's one more important thing I wanna show you, come with me. Our prayer, our goal is more than just how many people come to the lights, but it's how many people we can get to come inside the building for the Christmas concerts. We're doing 17 of these. We chose the busiest nights in advance. We studied numbers and we're just praying that God brings people into those events. They're going to have great music. They're going to hear the good news. They're gonna have an opportunity to bless themselves this Christmas. That's the sinner's prayer. And I need you to pray with me in faith to believe God does great things. But every one of us can to play a part because there'll be a point where the light show will stop before one of the shows begins. And you can say to people, there's a free concert inside. Enjoy the music. It's about a half an hour. It's not really long. And they can enjoy the show and just encourage them to come inside. So we're gonna do this together as a whole team. I wanna pray for you right now. So Father, bless this team tonight as they serve. And I pray that you would make them your ambassadors. And as a result, let Jesus be seen in our city. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm gonna turn this over to Brock, and or maybe it's Ilya, and they're going to help you get into the right place on the team. And they're gonna be your backup through the whole night. So go for it tonight. Have a great night.